Have you ever wondered if there's life outside the Earth? If there's more to this universe than meets the eye? I believe that no matter how hard it may be to find it, the truth is out there. And so does Fox Mulder and Dana Scully, agents of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, determined to prove that the impossible might be possible after all. Sounds exciting? Well, it sure is, and that's why it became such a huge hit when it was aired. The show was so popular that spin-offs were produced, while its popularity soon reached the gaming and comic book industry. So if you're sad your favorite TV show ended, then I should let you know that you may have not even seen all of their adventures, as there are many comics that add more to the X-Files mythos. What should you read then? Keep watching to find out. Firstly, is there anyone here who hasn't watched the X-Files? Yes? Oh, okay then. Let me give you a synopsis. Fox Mulder is an FBI agent whose little sister was abducted by what he believed were aliens back when he was a kid. Since then, he devoted his life to finding the truth to his sister's abduction. Trying to solve the unsolvable, he investigates the X-Files. FBI cases that were never solved because of their supernatural nature and that could lead to answers about his sister. Then Dana Scully becomes his partner in the X-Files unit of the FBI, serving as the voice of reason to Mulder's extraordinary beliefs. The main obstacle in their way were the actions of the mysterious cigarette-smoking man, determined to stop them from uncovering his plans. The show started in 1993 and lasted for 9 seasons until it ended in 2002, while 2 more seasons were eventually produced about 14 years after the show's end, one in 2016 and one in 2018. David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson were the show's stars throughout all these seasons, with Robert Patrick briefly replacing Duchovny as the protagonist of the show in season 8 and season 9. And now the part you were all waiting for, the X-Files comics. I'll be making a timeline with the way I believe all the different series should be read, but be aware it's not at all certain whether all these are canon or not. They sure are fun reads for fans who want more though. I'll also mention that you can find each series in a collected edition, and if I don't, it just means the collection has the same name as the series or there's just no collection. So you should definitely start with X-Files Origins and Origins Dog Days of Summer. These books follow the early adventures of young Mulder and Scully, explaining the reason why they want to know the truth so much, serving as a great prequel to the series with cameo appearances of famous characters. Next thing you should read is probably Year Zero. This takes place before the events of Origins, yet you need some understanding of the characters to read it. And actually, it's not really a prequel, but the main part of the story is based on flashbacks, and since it basically explains the origins of the X-Files unit in the Bureau, this is probably the best moment for this to be read. After that, you can check out the X-Files Xmas special of 2016, as it features characters from the Year Zero series. Now JFK Disclosure, a story full of flashbacks set in the 60s about Mulder's dad's possible involvement in Kennedy's assassination. Of course, aliens had to be involved too, because why not? After that, we're going to the classic X-Files era, my personal favorite, with stories set during the show's first few seasons. So, you can start reading the comics published by Topps, which you can find in the X-Files Classics volumes. I particularly like the Topps comics because they really feel like genuine episodes of the show, just in comic format. Some issues are actually just that, episodes of the show, like Ice for example, but as comics. Perfect, get a rope! Oh my god. So these are optional since they are exactly the same, but if you want to read them, you can find them in the X-Files Classics Season 1 volumes. This is probably a good time for the Wildstorm comics too, which, according to the writer Frank Spotnitz, are set during that same period. After that, you can check out the Lone Gunman one-shot, if you can find it since it was released in 2001 and I am not aware of a reprint. Now it's time for the modern X-Files era, meaning you can now read the X-Files season 10 and season 11. Now you might think these are adaptations of the 10th and 11th seasons of the show, but they were actually released a few years 
years before the series revival and were meant to continue the story after the second X-Files movie. Even though the comics were ignored when the actual seasons came out, they are still nice reads and they give us some great insight on how the later seasons could have been like. Oh, and before reading the season 11 comic, make sure to check out the Millennium comic too, as it is said during the events of the season 10 X-Files comic. That story is about Fox Mulder and Frank Black teaming up to investigate yet another series of murders possibly related to the infamous Millennium Group, with which you might be familiar if you watched the Millennium TV series, which is actually part of the X-Files universe. Another thing you could read before the season 11 comic, though when you read it is not so important, is the 2014 Xmas special. The next two X-Files series you can read are Florida Man and Hood Goes Where. These were published in order to celebrate 25 years of X-Files, and it seems the designs are heavily inspired from the newer seasons of the show. Though set in 2018, they have that classic X-Files feeling with the cults and the supernatural elements that, like in the original show, were often based on myths and local traditions. Now there is one more comic you can read called Deviations. This particular story is way different than what you're used to. It's sort of a what-if story in which Fox was abducted instead of his sister, so Samantha is the one who is searching for him now. Really interesting story, would absolutely recommend it. Lastly, we got the crossovers, those being Conspiracy, 30 Days of Night, and the Funko comic, which are so out of continuity that there is no sense even placing them inside the timeline. FYI, Conspiracy is a crossover with the Ghostbusters, the Crow, Transformers, and freaking TMNT. The other two kinda speak for themselves. Out of all of these, my personal favorites, as far as the prequels are concerned, are probably the Origins and Year Zero, because they serve as a means to see how everything came to be. Then we get to the classic era, from which the Tops series is probably my top pick, pun intended. This is due to how much I love the first seasons of the X-Files, so a comic with the same feel couldn't be better for someone like me. From the modern era, the story I found the most interesting and innovative was Deviations. Well guys, this was today's video. If you enjoyed it, do hit that like button, subscribe and why not allow all notifications, cause the research for this video actually took me a lot of time. And if you want the complete Spider-Than experience, you might as well follow me on Instagram. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you were a fan of the series or you're considering watching it after this video. Until the next time, goodbye true believers!